Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to more Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD. We are playing as whales on legendary difficulty. We've uh, expanded quite a bit recently and uh, moved into France. So um, we want to continue our expansion, but at the same time, we, we um, want to conquer some more territory as well. So, or we, sorry, we want to get our cities under control, uh, public order wise. Um, it's very, very, very important. Um, all right, we just took burn. I should mention, uh, for some reason, when I loaded up the game, it went through the end turn. So I don't know. I, I hope it didn't skip ahead a turn. I don't think it did. Um, but this is not the first time that this has happened with the mod. I don't know. I don't know why it happens, but, um, anyway, yeah, I think it just redid the, the end turn. We must have ended things at the, uh, at the end of the turn. All right. Um, I want to continue continue recruiting some troops over here. So we've got uh, we're we're just gonna go with the cheap guys. They've been effective enough, and we don't want to um we don't want our expenses to get too crazy. Um, this third army is um gonna cost us uh, a little bit. I wouldn't mind getting a fourth army as well it would be nice to be able to uh, afford a fourth army but uh, it's a little ways off still little ways off it's too bad that the uh, the schools don't help public order all right York we got the uh, public order under control there shit what was I gonna <laughs> what was I gonna build here I think I think it was the Catholic Chapel that would be my guess for the um, for the sanitation. Though it doesn't, we don't need the sanitation presently. Um, God damn, the buildings! Buildings are so expensive in this. It's uh, makes things tough. I'm wondering if we should um, we should be building some town barracks. Um, you have a maintenance cost, but I mean, when you it provides public order. Additional tower damage and tower attack rate, but uh, you get a garrison when you consider the cost So two spare band and one archer unit the cost of those would probably be I don't know in the 400 450 range. I would think so maintenance cost of 100 is kind of it's it's not bad And you get that public order it does use up a little bit of food um, but I, I'm kind of thinking that uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to start building some town barracks in settlements. How many turns does that take? Two turns. And this is kind of, um, this is probably going to be a border city between us and, uh, all right, well, let's see what else we want to build here. Um... <coughs> City square. We'll build a couple city squares, and that's all we can afford. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna put the barracks in. I I've got the extra build slots here, so why not? And then um, can we put this in too. Actually, uh, I'm gonna put another another food building in. And then this we'll use for the Catholic Chapel. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. To, you don't get um, don't get all the build slots. Thing is, everything is uh, expensive. So we've got um, got the governor bodyguard there as garrison. Duchy of Lorraine. I think this is our next target, and I think we'll attack it now. Um, though we don't know what's over there. And I'm down scout out here. Oh my. Oh my, the English are coming. Coming in full force here. Of course. Uh, 
It's interesting, the French and the British fighting it out here. Have you come around this way? Your orders. Can I assist you further? Nice to have a couple of agents, so we can get. Uh, to be able to get another, um, another one of those hero units. But I guess we can't afford it right now. God damn, I can't believe we spent all that money already. You, sir. Um, I'm gonna give you that just in case we come across enemy agents, but for some reason I don't think we will. Um, we're gonna put these two guys in the army as well, so we leave. We need to leave a couple spots for them. And be a fairly well rounded army, and then we'll drop these guys off, and then we can disband this dude. Ready for battle. Uh, Flanders, I don't know what they're. Okay. We could, uh, could hinder this army. Wait. What do I want to do? Hinder army is assault unit. Could assassinate, but, um. Shit, I should have sent him down that way. Alright, let's take a look at Kingdom of Lombardy. Kingdom of Lombardy. They're a long ways from home. That's interesting. Let's take a look at Duchy of Lorraine. They're at war with Kingdom of Flanders. Now we could... Get some peace agreements with them, most likely. Papal states. Yeah. I welcome you on behalf of the people and give ear to your words. Three hundred gold, three hundred gold, I guess, but. Uh... Nothing crazy there. At your command. Um, we move to there. We hunger for battle. Mm. You have further orders. All right. What do we got inside the settlement? Interesting. Ready for battle. Make haste, men. For death and oh, I am uh, kind of surprised that they didn't stand and fight. That's interesting. Because they getting the uh, for reinforcements. All right, hang on. We here. take this settlement. Oh. On the move. The army sitting inside, so no archers there. And they've got some archers there. Um, not a lot of archers with these guys. Question is. Do we try and cut off <clears throat> their reinforcements? Fuck, we can only deploy on this side. So their reinforcements are going to come in from this side, most likely. Let me just see here. That's weird that... Uh, there's... Well, okay, there's a river over here. So I guess. I was like, there's no there's no river on this map, but yeah, there, there's a river way back there. Take a look at the map again. Yeah, the reinforcement's gonna come in here. I guess we'll just um, siege it out, standard siege, let them bring their troops in here. There's no way that we're gonna be able to cut them off. Um, I mean, we could position here and try and cross the river and cut them off, but um, these guys will be sitting ducks for us in the uh, in the settlement, though. 
this is a pretty big force. We might not have quite enough ammunition for all of this. But at the same time, though, we should um, should wear them down sufficiently that our um, that our swords can get in there and finish the job. And if it doesn't look great, we can always always withdraw and um, do a second assault with uh, with fresh ammo. That is always an option. All right. Love seeing the chevrons on these guys. Though <laughs> the swords, it's one guy with a chevron. <laughs> um, interesting that the generals. Uh, got so many chevrons. The lion sleeps in the heart of every brave man, Turkish prophet. I like it. Hmm, excuse, excuse me. Ooh, good. I like these settlements. The tower's a little bit easier to hit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the reinforcement's coming in from over here. Whereabouts are our reinforcements coming in? Right on here. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. This um might be a little bit tricky. Might be a little bit tricky. I think we're going to attack here. There's open areas here for us to be able to um, make our assault. So I think I'm going to have you guys take out, um, move back a little bit in case there's artillery over there. down take these towers down our um reinforcing army I was thinking to come up here and take out that tower enemy reinforcements have been spotted where are the reinforcement enemy reinforcements because they've been spotted I suppose we can't um I was thinking to leave a couple troops over there just to spot them the enemy approaches. but I guess it's a little bit uh a little bit on the dangerous side of things. We have destroyed the enemy tower. Power down. All right. Um, get you guys in position there. I don't think we should have to worry about that catapult. Nice. Over here, and start working on that tower. <clears throat> the enemy's tower has been destroyed. Tower down. Take this one out. This what have we got? We got a unit running already. Wow, look at that. Yeah, tower destruction must have uh, 
Yeah. Wow, man, they are efficient at destroying those towers. So much more efficient than destroying the those those slender towers. Let's uh, do some bombing here. See if we can create a breach in the gate. And uh, get some kills while we're at it. They were off to a pretty good start. Gatehouse is putting up a little bit more, more of a, more of a fight than the uh, towers did. We're just not hitting our shots. are not supposed to be on fire will um you two start working on this tower very nice very nice gates have crumbled enemy gate down all right um what do we want to do next with you guys You're up a bit um Smash the wall here. Um, be... Let's move up and uh, start taking those guys out. Yeah, it's too bad we can't see what's going on over here. Most likely, the reinforcements are coming in through there. A full army, full stack army that's uh, reinforcing, so... Or did I just press? For the good Lord. There we go. The enemy tower is no more there than wreckage go. now. Bring in some troops over. Still to range a little bit. Yeah, I don't like shooting them square like this. Um, we don't really have any other options. Get a breach there, and at least at least here the crenellations, uh, the ramparts are knocked down. So we should get some. Clear shots in at them. Let's clear this area. Guys making their way over here. Yeah, they don't have a lot of range units in here. We'll wait for him to stop, and then uh, wherever he stops, we'll we'll um. Start shooting with the uh, with the artillery potentially. Looks like he's, they're bringing them all the way around. Some rocks over here on the field of peasants. All right, staying put there. Let's bombard right there. Pretty please. Probably shouldn't be moving these guys up. We have destroyed their defenses. A little concerned. The amount of ammo we're using on these guys up here. It's gonna be a big force inside the settlement. Yeah, 
I probably shouldn't have moved up so soon. Waited. Waited for our artillery to do their thing. This might turn out to be a tough siege. Big force that we're up against. Though, seeing a lot of a lot of white flags already is always down. good. down. If we make enough breaches, we can see what's um, sitting on the other side here. Yeah, it looks like they, they must be trickling in from uh, across the bridge. But yeah, what, uh, what are we going to do to draw them over here? Alright, you guys focus on this wall right here. Alright, move up a bit. Yeah, so I think we've taken out most of the garrison. Or at least some of the garrison. Where's my... Um, where's our cav? Might come in here and clear out uh, these... Um, last bit of crossbows. It seems, they, it seems like they're holding back their infantry back there. Let's uh, move you guys up to the gate. over here. Let's, uh, just in case they charge out, let's put you guys over there. Um, just be careful. We got some pikes over there. Yeah, we're running, running low on, uh, alright. Not gonna work. You guys pull back out. The thing that's annoying right here is these freaking rocks. Freaking rocks. Um, should we create another breach here? Yeah, take out these cavalry. You're doing a good job. But, uh, we're running low on ammunition. Running low on ammo. Ammunition is spent. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Now they're bringing over some some troops. Let's uh, smash that wall. Just create another breach. I'm feeling pretty good about our uh, thus far. This is a lot of uh, a lot of dudes here. Let's see if we can get you guys into better position. The question is, how are our swords gonna fare against, uh, against these types of? Pieces? There's a lot of them still, to be perfectly honest. Alright, you guys don't need to be in shield wall necessarily. You can use your um, your javelins. Or at least I'm hoping you use your javelins. I don't want to um, move these guys up just yet until the, uh, until the breach is created. Yeah, a little bit of ammunition left, but fuck, there's a lot of them. A lot of them still. I was maybe not as judicious with my ammunition as it should have been. There we go, using, using the jabs. Let's, uh, let's do some bombing in there. A couple units breaking for them. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, pretty well. Almost a full stack sitting here. Almost a full stack sitting here. Alright, we got the, uh, Move up and see if we can use our javelins. Oh, just this guy has ammunition left. Use your last shots in there. We're not quite. For some reason, this guy was able to use his javelins, but this guy is not. But we should, um, we've got enough breaches that we should be able to pinch them here. That's got a little bit of ammo left. Alright, that's good news, that's good news. We don't want to take too much damage here because we want to get after Flanders pretty quick. At the same time, it would be nice to uh, just finish this off in the one uh, in the one assault. We managed to wear these guys down pretty good. I think we need to worry about those crossbows. Just use up the last of our ammunition. Where do we want to position our cavalry? We'll bring a cavalry in. We'll bring the cavalry in all the way around. Ooh, we've got a we've got a barricade there that we've got to get through. Damn it! If I would have saw that, would have maybe. Shot it with the artillery. All right, I think we're officially out of ammo. The archers, so let's just pull back the archers to 
get ready to uh, make the assault here. I think what I want you two to do, and I think if anything we'll bring the cavalry in. Pull back, pull back, pull back. And get the cavalry in on those knights. Ah, uh, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Alright, you guys come in this way. Cavalry should be able to overwhelm them. Actually, gonna bring you guys over here. Support over there. Oh shit, we got cavalry over here. Would be tough to deal with. Well, we got four units of swords. Uh, it's unfortunate that we didn't get to use the, uh... Let's get over there. What are you guys doing here? Bring you guys in. Ah, oh, fuck, these guys rallied. Yeah, this fight right here is gonna be kinda tough. Come on, get in there, boys. Our generals. Ready for this uh, situation, I'm a little bit worried about. Um, generals, if you could run down these uh, these breaking units, that'd be nice. in behind here. God damn it. Why? That's what I want you. Generals are taking their time. Yeah, see the problem is these breaking units are coming back to the fight. Getting behind there. Oh, we got some fucking crossbows still going. Right there. Have you hit them? And we'll hit them. And then you guys push forward to this fight. Alright, good, 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 good. Shit, there's no way around here and have you come capture this let's finish them off good good all right so we we'll get some of these guys in behind Nothing we can do about those crossbows, and you guys get up here and get this barricade down. Into those crossbows, into the general there. I think we got this, it's just a matter of um, how many casualties are we taking. Should be pretty close to the army loss. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five. Five units left, from what I can tell. They're not in a great position to hit us, so it shouldn't be too much damage. Wouldn't mind sending these two in to get those crossbows. It's just a little, I don't know, I'm always hesitant to send the generals in. They're so, um, so fragile. A freak, uh, a freak crossbow bolt can take down a general. Um, it's one of the things I love about Three Kingdoms is that the uh, the general's bodyguard, when you're playing on records mode, is um, really tough to kill the actual general. Captured this yet? Still in possession of Jim Lorraine. A um, couple of you come around this way. And maybe one more of you come around. The rest of them can just chase them down. Alright, we got it. Get in there. And you guys get up there as well. And see if we can get bring these guys around to support. Fuck it. Getting locked up. Oh, look at this. Army loss coming in. Now the thing is, the uh, the army is sitting outside the settlement. So how much how much of that army survived this uh, this fight? Let's get in here. Racking crossbows. All right, caught all these guys. Guys, get up! Oh, they're on the run. Yeah, just capture that. There we go. A glorious victory will soon easy be game, yours. easy life. A decisive victory. 537, that's not too bad, considering they lost 4,000. Only 465 remaining. Alright, it's better than I thought. Better than I thought. But, yeah, the archers didn't do... Didn't do quite the devastating damage. A few of them did okay. But, um... Yeah. Not as much as, uh... They usually do. Mm -hmm, yeah, a couple guys. Taking pretty heavy damage. Alright, giddy up. Subjugate, loot, and occupy. We just occupy. At your command. And I guess we will demolish. Uh, I think we'll we'll keep the winery uh, since it's a special building. Keep that. Ready for battle. Oh, we can upgrade these guys. I can't upgrade all of them. Upgrade you. There you go, that's all. All I can afford. But, uh, yeah, get rid of the uh, workshop. We won't need it. Uh, but it is nice to have these additional bonuses for the archers. How much of a difference does it make? Two more ammunition, that's actually pretty big. Um, and a little bit more armor. It's not really going to make much difference. But yeah, a couple more ammunition is actually pretty pretty, pretty good. Alright, let's take a look at the overall map. Yeah, it's a little bit... We're a little bit kind of kind of spread out. Um, but we're on good terms with the French. Um, speak 
quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, they don't like us anymore. Oh well, what can you do? Yeah, income taking a bit of a dip. Um, I mean, it's mostly because of the uh, the new troops that we're recruiting. But yeah, I'm thinking the next war that we is um, probably England. But we well, actually, next war is Flanders. We'll finish off Flanders and consolidate that, and then. Um, and then maybe maybe the English maybe go to war with them though it's weird the English have settlements over here next to the papal states that is uh it's quite odd all right what am I forgetting what am I forgetting what we gotta do here um everybody's got a position Uh, he, he'll soon be of age. I'm wondering if we should put him in charge of an army. Or if that's too dangerous. We could just make him a governor. That is an option as well. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything left to do this turn. This guy is getting decent replenishment. This guy's getting a little bit of replenishment. Yeah, Tempted to try the assassination there, but even even if yeah, we can't afford it anyway. All right, we're gonna end the turn on a science skill. Skill. Blood feud. Yeah, the empire is a little bit spread out. Not, uh, which, which is another reason why it might not be a bad idea to build those barrackses. Some of our newly acquired territory. Just, um, make it even tougher for the AI to be able to take us on. I think we just auto resolve this. I don't think uh, any danger of losing anybody. It's nice enough for them to do that so that we don't have to actually run them down. Who's 147? And we're gonna have to have some, have to do some building this turn. outbreak. Where is that? London. Wait. Yeah. Great gained bishop. Wow, oh, look at that. Not bad, not bad. It's a pretty good trait. Bring these artillery pieces down. So, three artillery pieces, three of these guys, and then we will um, finish it off with these two blokes. So I'm wondering if the um, these dudes are any good. I don't know. Demolish, demolish, demolish. And let's convert this. 
God, it's expensive. I think the, uh, the Ecclesia, yeah, this gives, I like these because it gives sanitation and public order. So we'll convert it to um, one of those bad boys, Ecclesiastical Domain. Uh, doesn't give us much to work with down here. Um, get the chapel going because we need we need that for sanitation. And then have a good decent amount of food. At your command. All right, my man. Um, Yeah, if that was for the whole army, that would be awesome. But it's just for the commander's unit. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem the greatest. Um, this is pretty awesome to get authority, cunning, and zeal. So I think probably we're not again for the commander's unit or plus six morale for the commander's unit. Let's go down. Oh, are you shitting me? Gotta get both those. Alright. Good enough. Good enough. And you, sir. Okay, we've got a new tradition. Um, missile damage and ammunition. Let's go ammunition as well. Get these guys up to 26 and these guys up to 27. A little bit, just a little bit more, but every every little bit it adds up. Um, what are we doing public order wise? Some of these settlements, not so great, not the greatest. Let's park you in here, and let's have you come into Antwerp and just take a look around. They don't have a strong force. They've got this army, and this army should be pretty pretty easy for us to defeat them um i'm gonna wait a turn for us to replenish and also just get a little bit of a public order buffer here in these provinces um fuck we got so much building to do and these guys can transfer over to there dude level up um, what do we want? Inspire troops, corruption. Reduce the corruption of the province. Sounds good to me. All right, London public order pro or sanitation problem. God damn! Even back through here, we've got heaps of uh, heaps of building to do. Yeah, it's hard. the The building in this mod is um, is so expensive. It's hard to keep track or keep up with the expansion and get that building done. Because the other thing is too, it's hard to get the numbers up for the army. I mean, we're we're going with pretty cheap armies for the most part. I mean, it's a little bit a little bit cost involved with the uh, with the cavalry and the artillery, but the rest of the armies are pretty cheap. And we don't even have um, don't even have a strong force. Um, what did I want to check? I wanted to see founded empire. So we're fifteen out of eighteen. Three more regions, and we can found an empire. Um, take a look at diplomacy. What's uh? Whoa. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> we upset the Frenchies. Uh, let's see if we get trade with Welcome, some of these folks out here. Suppose. No, Bollocks. do not sit. That is not a as up for trade. I will do you the honor of listening to No. Shite. Salutations. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
All right, I've got a little bit of cash left over. Three turns, so there's a proper garrison there. Two turns, so there's a proper garrison there. Three here, two turns, so there's a proper garrison there. Yeah, all of this newly here, we've got a bit of a garrison, and here as well. Build this up. Yeah, why not? Total sanitation minus four. God dang. God dang. Is this causing? No. Yeah. Everything creates squalor. Yeah, hopefully this physician helps out. Position helps uh, research rate as well, which is nice. What are we researching right now? Turns. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right, I think um, I think we're in the clear and the turn. So it looks like um, it looks like we could end up going to war with France. So France has their own problems right now. You are welcome. We were to but join the war with Flanders. Not, not too keen on it. Oh shit, I forgot about my agents. That's okay, there's not um not a lot for them to do at the moment. Just uh, keep it an eye on this war between the uh, the English and the French. Stay appraised on it. Piracy. Rampant piracy, naval commerce, twenty-five percent problem. Well, do we have a lot of naval co uh, commerce? That's the question. That is the question. So our army, our third army, is complete, which is nice. Well, I mean, it'll be complete here in a second. But uh, I think I'm gonna end here, guys. Um, for the time being, we're going to um, go to attack Flanders in the next episode and take Antwerp hopefully um, these guys probably won't stand and fight but we'll be able to uh, be able to catch up to them I'm sure and then um, and then after that it's just a matter of um, all of this new newly acquired territory getting um, getting the infrastructure laid down and getting public order under control and once that's done we can start uh, we can start eyeing the uh, the southern parts of France here um, whether whether it's the English or the French that we go to war with. What's our relationship like with the English? Not, well, it's improving. Uh, Dilemma events, Kingdom of France, minus 16. And France is deteriorating, though that'll probably improve eventually. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, um... But yeah, Flanders next. Flanders next. Flanders. And then um and then I'm thinking England. God, there's a, there's a lot of armies in congested in this area. That's interesting. Um or France. I mean we could turn on France. Um, it would kind of uh, would honestly be better if they turned on us so that we don't have to break any treaties um, But yeah, I mean it's looking good looking good is a little bit spread out um, Public order bit of a mess down here, um, but we'll we'll get that once we get the um, Once we get the buildings laid down 
uh, we should be able to uh, wrestle that under control. Anyway, guys, um, thank you once again for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you next time. Ragnarok, signing out.